with this young man taking these photographs you know still nothing no sexual contact i think all men quite honestly are quite useless don't you girls mind you i soon have a man than a vibrator at least a man buys you a drink well sometimes i was married of course my husband oh, he was a complete and utter bastard i've got to say it he really was never gave me sex oh i never gave me sex. i used to beg for it some nights I said to my friend, I said, Elsie, I said, why can't I get sex from this man? He said, because you've got to try and give yourself some more oomph, you know, get yourself some more, get some new lingering. That's French, you know, for, for lingering. And uh, so I said, would it work? He said, well, try it, dear, try it. So I thought, no expense, beer. I shut down to Primart, and I bought some new knickers and a new bra. Oh, the price, three ninety nine, nearly died. Anyway, I thought, well, bugger the expense. So I come back and I put them on. I'm laid on the bed like this, you see, sort of prostitute, a prostrate. And he's walked in the door like it's there. Well, it is there. And he, I looked at me and I said to him, Hello, darling. Guess what I want tonight? He said, Looking at you, the whole fucking bed. Then he went mad. He said, Get off that bed. He said, Get those drawers and that bra off and stand in the corner in front of that mirror on a handstand. I said, Do what? He said, Do a handstand. I said, Me, I'm 39. He said, Just do a handstand or I'll slap you. Well, I thought it was a bit of kink. So I managed to get up there with my legs in front of the mirror, you know, legs to Kimbo. He came up behind me, girls, and he's put his chin on my little min like that, yeah, looking in the mirror. And he said, oh, you know, he said, my mates were right. He said, a beard wouldn't suit me. Cheek. Back to the gin. <laughs>